Hey guys, I'm back with another video with my slinger bag and this time I'm going to show you through one of its unique features, ball kid mode. Now it's a feature that you may not be aware of but it's very very useful in your training regime and I'm going to show you how it works. So, to use ball kid mode you need to set up your slinger bag on the slowest speed setting and on the slowest feed setting. Trajectory wise, I set it to 20 degrees. That's how I like it. You can set it higher or lower depending on how you want the ball to travel to you. But the aim is for the slinger bag to throw a ball to you into a comfortable position so that you can set yourself up to hit a serve. You can see that I've placed my ball machine in between the two tram lines facing towards me at an angle two and a half meters ish inside the court so that when I'm serving, it's easy for me to catch the next oncoming ball. Some players like to place the machine more out to the side. You can put it wherever you like for your own needs, but I like it in front of me to the side of the court. You'll see in the next clip when I serve on the ad side, I'll just shift the ball machine more towards the center of the court, but still shooting the ball at me from an angle. Another cool reason to use ball kid mode is you can actually make use of the camera mount to place your phone and record yourself serving. That way you can do 10 serves, video yourself, have a look back at the footage and if there's something that you want to correct on your serve, you can repeat, have another go, look back at the footage. Video analysis is a fantastic way to develop your own technique without having to have somebody else on the court with you. Using ball kid mode, you can work on your serve consistency, you can work on your serve accuracy, you can work on technique. But another way that I really like to use ball kid mode is to practice my serve and ball number three. So the shot that I would hit once the return comes back to me. In this clip, you can see me practicing serve and ball three. Now I've adjusted the feed setting slightly to make it a little bit quicker so that as soon as I've landed from my serve, I'm ready to take on ball number three. Again, everybody serves at a different pace. If your serve takes a little bit longer, you may want to keep the feed setting at the lowest. If you have a very fast serve action, you might want to up the speed slightly more than me so that you're put under more time pressure for ball number three. So there you have it, that's ball kid mode. Have a go at some of these exercises, let me know how you get on and if you have any questions about how to use ball kid mode, pop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Take care guys, see you soon.